Hi guys, now I will I will try to explain you the packet content uh, of the LPG Matter uh, device. Uh, first of all, this is a full level sensor. Uh, is a fire matter a cable? It comes. This is connection uh, boards. Also, is uh, power uh, cables. And this is LPG Matter device screen, like that. So we need to we need to we need to connect the uh, screen screen uh, cable to here and LPG level level sensor cable to here. Also, I will I will show you detailed uh, video on the uh, fuel tank. Hi guys, now I will try to explain you how to mount the uh, LPG meter device on the uh, your car. Here is you, you uh, this is L, uh, LPG uh, tank, it's a real tank. Uh, we, we cut this once uh, to show you the inner side but you don't have to know anything about the uh, inner side of the tank because we will not do anything inside the tank here is you, you uh, there is a multi valve uh, section here is a manual uh, uh, fuel uh, indicator uh, the first step is we need to dis dismount this manual like that then we will uh, we will uh, connect the uh, LPG meter uh, uh, fuel level sensor it comes with the LPG uh, meter device we will uh, th this the shape of the this shape of the sensor is the same with the o o original one so we will mount this sensor to here like that using the same screws Don't tight it too much because the uh, the middle part of the, the middle part of the sensor should rotate like that. Okay. Don't tight it too much. Okay, that's good. The most important thing is the our fuel tank must be empty. So then second we will enter the calibration menu. Okay. No, you are seeing a row value comes from our sensor. When I when I rotate the middle parts of our uh, level sensor, like you see on the screen, the value is changing. That value, that value is very critical. We need to find the critical position of the, our sensor by rotating. I will give you uh, I will give you uh, more detail about how to adjust the position of the, our sensor on next steps the most critical part of the calibration process is that we need to find the lower value on the screen by rotating the our uh, level sensor okay no we are rotating the our sensor slowly and the value is decreasing you see so as we need to find the lower value on the screen. Yeah, it's 386, I think 88. Okay, uh, it, this value change, this value is change uh, on the on the cars. It depends on your car, on depends on your fuel tank. You can see 100, you can see 200 or 400. Our our tank shows the minimum value as a uh, 388. Okay, we find the lower value on the screen, but we need to we need to add an offset value on this value. The, our offset value must be between seventy and hundred. So the critical, the, the most important thing is we, we need to rotate our sensor the anti-clockwise slowly, and it is really important, not the clockwise anti-clockwise okay 
Now I'm rotating the sensor and I'm adding I'm increasing the value minimum 70 more okay I think this is this is enough no I can tighten the sensor yes that's all so after tightening the, our sensor uh, we need to we need to save this value on the system so uh, please start your car because I'm sure that there is there is still a little bit gas inside the fuel tank and uh, your car can uh, start uh, with LPG mods because we need to we need to uh, we need to follow the same circumstance on the uh, while your car is running so the to save this value on the system I will use the button button one more time I then and the cursor you see here then up button and it's at using the button button the value is saving to save this value we need to exit now the our first value is saved we will add another three adjustment points so we should go to the uh, gas station to to uh, fill up the one third of the fuel tank with gas. For example, our uh, for example our our fuel tank capacity is 30 liters. So we need to go to the gas station and we need to uh, fill only one third of the gas uh, in our tank. This means that 10 liter about uh, 10 liter gas we need to fill up. When I when I fill up 10 liter, 10 liter gas in the uh, tank, our sensor value here you will see is changing. If your sensor value is not increasing, if 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 uh, uh, decreasing, this means that you did something wrong uh, with sensor uh, while you're mounting the sensor. During this position, please uh, start your car in gas LPG mode. After fill up the uh, uh, one third of the uh, gas inside the fuel tank, please use the button button and how much gas you bought, please enter. For example, I entered 10 liter gas and the cursor is appear. Use the at. Okay, no my new sensor position uh, while 10 with 10 liter gas is 553 to uh, to save this value we need to use the uh, exit it's saved okay okay don't don't leave the gas station because we need to we need to uh, fill 10 liter gas more uh, to calibrate our uh, sensor so before there was 10 liter gas inside the tank and I added 10 liters more so now my fuel tank has 20 liter gas and run your car on LPG mode and enter the calibration screen and you see the our sensor position is changed to save this new sensor position I will add 10 liters and totally 20 liters gas no there is inside the fuel tank I'm saving this value to exit it's saved okay so last last time we will enter we will uh, add some gas into the, our fuel tank no we will full completely fill up our tank so again run your car on LPG mode enter calibration screen and this is our new sensor value to end 
how much uh, gas you you got last time please enter it for example we got just about 12 liters this means it's 32 liter gas inside the fuel tank okay I'm saving this value exit to save it's saved it shows the total how much uh, LPG liter your tank has 32 liters so there is 32 liters uh, gas inside our uh, fuel tank uh, when you drive your car uh, when the uh, fuel value change uh, when you drops the also uh, you will see the fuel uh, is changing the value is changing no it shows you it shows you the actual actual uh, fuel level on the tank thanks for watching